Um, I want to do a video about my empty nose syndrome. Um, uh, and if I have to do another video, I'll put it in the comments of this video. So, um, people are dying from this condition and, um, I posted a video, uh, another video of a fellow that had did not survive this condition. It, um, and my case is pretty severe, so I feel compelled to speak out about it. Um, and I'll put a, I'll put a post, I'll put maybe a video or two explaining what empty nose syndrome is from someone maybe more articulate in the comments of this video or somewhere else, uh, it'll say, what is empty nose syndrome? Um, so, um, people are not, you know, there are some people who are not surviving this condition because it's so horrendous. And, um, I'm suffering terribly from mine and, uh, I'm suffering from a couple major medical injuries and I'm scared I won't survive and because my case is so severe I feel compelled to speak about it and I'll put a photo of my uh, CT scan in the comments as well to show you how severe mine is. Um, so empty nose syndrome is caused by an overaggressive sinus surgery. Uh, why did I go to the, why did I go to the ENT? I went to the ENT because of a stuff, chronic stuffy nose and chronic sinus infections. And he told me he was going to do surgery. And, um, uh, what he did to me was, is more than em empty nose syndrome. Empty nose syndrome is when they take a large, when they take, when they reduce the turbinates and it causes issues. What, what he did to me was far worse than just reduce the turbinates. Uh, the turbinates are in here and when, when they cut away at them, some people develop this rare quote unquote condition called empty nose syndrome. I think what I have is just f empty nose syndrome and far beyond. And this is a, a, a a disease that the ENT community likes to try to deny, but it's very real and the suffering is, is unbelievable. And, um, so he wanted to do surgery and, uh, he said he was going to do some trimming inside the nose. And I said, oh, all right. And, and I said, to him a few times before the surgery, don't touch the right side because the right side is fine. I, I'm all right on the right side. Don't touch the right side. Um, he, he didn't answer me. He, he just looked at me and he knew what we, he was going in to do. I don't understand why he did what he did. And, um, he had intentions to do a drastic surgery and I wasn't informed and um, I haven't spoken to him now because he's recently retired and um, what I now understand what should have been done is with chronic sinus infections there's a procedure that they can there you've got the nose and then you've got a bone wall and then the these sinuses here right 
And what they can do is they can put a little device in a tiny, tiny little balloon to open this airway for drainage and to try to stop sinus infections, to try to make that easier and open them up. Well, rather than putting a little balloon in there and trying to make the passageway larger, he cut out the bone wall. He cut a huge hole. So my maxillary sinuses are wide open. So not only do I have empty nose syndrome, watch, watch the video below of what empty nose syndrome actually is, but also these sinuses are wide open and just causing me just unbearable grief and suffering. Um, and... I'm so traumatized talking about this even years later. The surgery was done, I think, about 11 or 12 years ago. And so he knew he was going in to do a drastic surgery, but didn't tell me. And after the surgery, I I was... All sorts of things went wrong. I woke up during the surgery while he was cutting bone out of me. Just severe trauma, right? Wide awake, he was cutting out bone. Um, I stopped breathing in the recovery room. Uh, presumably severe. Uh, I think I've been suffering for from sleep apnea for years and fighting for help, fighting to be diagnosed with sleep apnea, and they were dropping the ball on that. Anyways, I stopped breathing in the recovery room after that surgery and all sorts of things went wrong and um, they wouldn't discuss any of it with me and basically ushered me out of the door and uh, um, after <clears throat> when I got home from that surgery it was like straight to bed for a week I couldn't understand I was calling his office and I couldn't understand why does it feel like someone has cracked me in the face with a baseball bat? If you did, if you did, just did a little bit of trimming, why do I feel like I've been just cracked in the face? Um, I'll do a second video because Facebook only lets me load really short videos.